Greetings everyone and welcome to a new Outriders video. Today we finally have some wonderful news about the game. A brand new update called New Horizon is coming tomorrow 16th of November. In this video I am going to share with you as fast as I can all the details we know that the developers have shared with us, but if you like to watch the whole podcast with all the details, feel free to visit the link in the description. So the new update is coming as I told you tomorrow, 16th of November 2021. In case you're watching the video and it's to date, feel free to start downloading the update, I don't know how long it will take, but it's completely free and it includes the following changes. Four brand new expeditions. Finally, the much needed new content is here and we can enjoy it and have fun thanks to the new chains. All expeditions, including the old, no longer have a time requirement as a default. So, you will get that expedition's reward as long as you can finish it, no matter the time. This is one of the best changes for me so far, as I never had time to enjoy an expedition and try the so-called tank builds, so I'm looking forward to it. You can of course change that in the settings, so you can have a time limit in the expeditions, however, without any improved loot. Eye of the Storm now lets you pick up a legendary reward among three random choices that will be drawn out from the full loot pool, so you will improve your odds to get something you may need and finally give you a reason and justify the so-called final and hardest expedition. Tiago, my man, is finally a little more useful. There will be one random mystery legendary available to buy in exchange for drop board resources, but the best change is that you can spend drop board resources to re-roll his entire elite offer, so finally some new legendaries could be acquired from there. Hashtag Tiago can justify his existence. Transmog is here also known as transmogrification, you can now change the appearance of any item you like with others you have already obtained. You don't have to dismantle the item to get the looks in your file and the transmog itself is free and can be done an unlimited number of times. So don't worry if you don't like the first look you choose for your legendary set as you can rechange it later. We will also be able to see the transmog items thanks to an icon appearing on the top left so we don't accidentally dismantle them. Legendary loot and anti-duplication system further improved, but once again we'll have to see about that. For the console players added a number of new controls and customization options, full crossplay support across all platforms with improved matchmaking, less lag, disconnections, multiplayer crashes, etc. Well, for that we'll have to wait and see, as they have promised the same in the past and yet have delivered. Finally, a new expansion has been announced, World Slayer, coming up on 2022, but we don't have many other information yet. For now, I do want to see how they will deliver the new Horizon update and focus on the expansion later. And until November the 30th, for all players, new and old, if you log in then, you will receive a celebration package quote-unquote, well, it's one legendary armor piece from a set from your class you will log in, supposedly one armor piece you don't have previously received and you don't have to worry about the cannonball set. Once again, let's see how this works. So to summarize, this is indeed the reason for me personally to come back and check the game once again and more importantly start making more videos. My hope is that they will deliver to everything they have said and promised and in case they do so, keep up the good work so we can anticipate the new expansion for more new better content. Thank you all very much for watching, feel free to like if you like and you can subscribe to stay tuned for more upcoming videos for Outriders and other video games. And as always, I wish you all a wonderful day.
Oh, I've heard such terrible, terrible things about you. How many of my people did you kill just to reach us? 